we have C3, H8, and we have another one, C4, H10. This is page 255, example B. So 11B in text example. Okay, we want to find for these the enthalpy of combustion if the first one is 0 0.62. I'll put that down here. 0 0.62, and this one's 0 0.38 mole fractions. You remember mole fractions vaguely from chapter 6 last quarter. That's the fraction, uh, that's the moles of the compound divided by the total moles. So you'll see how this works out when we get to this part. What we'll need to do first, we want the enthalpy of combustion, so let's write out the combustion reactions. Plus O2 goes to CO2 plus Y. And same here, plus O2 goes to CO2 plus Y. So now we want to balance, so let's balance these. 3, because there's 3 carbons, 8 hydrogens, there's 4 here. That makes on the right hand side, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 is 10, 5. Okay, top one's balanced. Now, the second one, there's four carbons here. So put four here. Ten carbons here, or ten hydrogens, so we've got to put a five there. Uh, <coughs> this is four times two is eight, plus five is thirteen. Thirteen halves. Okay, now we got everything balanced. That's nice. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, I'll need to find the delta H for each reaction. Okay? So I want this delta H. I'll just call it delta H1, and I want this delta H. I'll just call it delta H2. Okay? We're going to do this by formations. So what that means, I need to look in the back of the book for these values that look like this. Delta H standard with a little F down there. So I need to look up those values for each of these compounds here. Okay? So I'll just write that like this. Delta H standard of F. And I think it's in Appendix D2, somewhere back there. So I'll just look them up. Um, these are all the same, so I'll do water, and I'll look up CO2 and O2. And I think they did that for me, so I will take their loving. Uh, so if you look in the back of the book, CO2 is minus 393.5. So where's that one? 393.5. So practice this. Make sure you find this number. Go home later. If you have your book now, flip to the back and find it. H2O in the back of the book should be minus 285.8. And that's in kilojoules. And let's see that first one. Was it minus or plus? It is minus. So this first one's minus. O2, uh, if you look it up, it's not listed. Yeah, yeah, how did you know that? You're right. It's elemental. It's in its most basic form. So it can't be formed from anything. It comes formed. So zero. And then here there's two. So there's the C3H8 and the C4H10. So I got two values to look up here. Uh, let's see. Uh, where, where are those things? Here we go. C3H8 is minus 103.8. And then, let's see if I can find the other one. C4H10, where is that thing? Minus 125.6. Okay, now once you looked up everything, you take the products, subtract from the reactants. Okay, so I'm going to do reaction one first. I'll call this reaction one, this one reaction two. For reaction one, delta H 
or 1 is equal to the products 393.5 times 3, I got to multiply by this coefficient, and then the other product is H2O, there's four of them, 285.8. I gotta remember to keep my minus signs in there. Okay, there's the product. Close the brackets. Products minus reactants, so minus open bracket. Now reactants, C3H8, that's minus, minus 103.8. And there's just one of them. Plus um, O2, I'll write it just for completeness, is zero, and there's five of them in the first reaction close brackets. There's the first one. In the text, when they did this one, they got, let's see, um, minus 2,220. So, uh, this one is equal to minus 2,220 kilojoules. Okay? Okay, that's the first one. The second reaction, same thing. Delta H2, standard equals, open brackets, products. It's going to look pretty similar. Uh, CO2 minus 393.5, and there's four of them in the second reaction. And then there's H2O is minus 285.8, and there's five of them. And close brackets. So there's react uh, products. I subtract from reactants. The reactants first, the C4H10, that's minus 125.6. And there's one of them, plus oxygen, there's 6.5, and it at zero, close brackets. When your book did that, let's see what they got. Uh, minus 2,877. Minus 2,877 kilojoules. <coughs> okay? Now I have delta H1 and delta H2. That's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted the delta H overall if the mole fraction of the first one's 0.62 and the mole fraction of this is 0.38. All you're going to do, it sounds crazy, it's not a big deal. Let me erase some of this stuff. Hopefully you have it down already. All you're going to do is take the first number, minus 2220 kilojoules, multiply it by its mole fraction, and then take the second number, minus 2877, multiply it by its mole fraction. And really, that's it. Uh, and the final answer is minus 2500, really. This is in units of kilojoules, I believe. Yes. There's your answer. So it's very typical to do these two steps down here. That's pretty standard. You have a reaction, you find the delta H for reaction. The twist that this question added was to give you the mole fractions of how much you started with. You just multiply those by each reaction to get the total. That's it. Is that okay?